is the AirGap soft wallet when used on a dedicated offline device just as secure as any hardware wallet? Any cons? Uh, for those who may not be fluent in English, a con is a disadvantage. Let's dig into that. So first of all, what is it? It's airgap.it. We did cover it, I think, a couple of weeks ago. I've covered so many wallets, right? I can't remember. But it is open source, iOS and Android software, which is good. And it turns your spare phone into an offline hard wallet. It supports a variety of cryptos, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cosmos, Polkadot, Trezor, Kusama, I think. And uh, the software is free. But you do need to pay for a compatible iOS or Android phone that you can use as a dedicated device. And it's one of the easiest DIY options available. So from that perspective, it's real cool how it works. So basically, the air gap uh, relies on a QR code transmission. Transactions are constructed and signed through the QR code communication between your offline mobile device that uses that you use as your cold storage wallet and the online mobile device that acts as your hot wallet. This is known as a hot end and cold end. The cold end is the offline mobile device that you use to store to use to store your crypto. The hot end is your everyday mobile device that acts as a transaction app. You use the camera on the cold end to scan the QR code, obtain the transaction data, and then the transaction is confirmed on your offline offline device where you sign the transaction and then it outputs the signed transaction data in the form of another QR code and completes the transaction on the hot end. It basically broadcasts it as you go forward. So that's basically how it works, but it's not for everyone. Let me explain why. It is a great DIY option, but the biggest disadvantage of AirGap is for some people, it is precisely that it is DIY. Although it's one of the easiest DIY options, it does require a certain level of technology, technological competency. And uh, if you screw up your build, you <laughs> can create your own security vulnerabilities. And for example, you need to make sure 100% that the offline mobile device you're using is not compromised beforehand. Also, you need to make sure that you do not accidentally turn on the Wi-Fi network or connection to your offline device. This would de defeat the purpose of having a cold storage wallet. And the surest way to prevent this is actually remove the Wi-Fi chip from your offline phone, which requires some technical skills to do so. Finally, remember this, you have to dedicate a mobile phone to the task of being an offline wallet and nothing else. That's it. Uh, you know, like dedicated machines for certain activities, etc. In order to limit the attack surface area, it's best not to have any other apps on the offline device except for airgap.it. And for many people, it might just not might just not be feasible, and you're better off buying another wallet. So remember all of those little tidbits.